present plays from the four corners of the world. Comedy, drama, suspense, true life adventure in Tuesday Theatre. The Petrified Serpent. You have an almost classical figure. You are interesting, my figure. Is... It embarrasses me. <laughs> if it is a question of money... No, that... you insult me. Every man has his price. That goes for every woman, too. Oh, I grant you, it may not be money. The price may be rank, position, power, even marriage. Oh, I don't wish to continue this discussion. I tell you quite frankly, Mr. Aristophanes, that I don't feel safe on board the notice. When we reach the island, of course, I, I get off, with or without the money you promised me. That may be rather difficult, Irene. I... I don't understand. Well, let me put it this way. The things I want, I usually get one way or another. No. No. If you lay as much as a finger on me, I... <laughs> Such melodramatics, I have them until later. By then, you will have learned your lesson. But alas, like so many lessons life teaches us... You will have learned yours too late. If you want a magazine that's full of fun and has something for every member of the family, this week and every week, you should get... of Benson and Hedges offer you their special quality in a mild cigarette. New Benson and Hedges Special Mild. Created to satisfy the modern move to mildness without sacrificing taste. New Benson and Hedges Special Mild lets you move to mildness yet stay with taste. Ask for Benson and Hedges Special Mild. Hi, Pete. Come on over. Ah, thanks, Tom. Hey, I see you're on to Pilsner, too. Yes, I like to start on beer and stay with it. Pilsner's the answer. It's less filling and, man, it's full of flavor. Mmm, that's answer for you. Cheers. Hansa Pilsner is the perfect beer to have when you're having more than one. You get all the true beer satisfaction you want and an average of 24% less carbohydrates. Hansa, for Pilsner lightness. It's a world trend. What do you know about me, Irina? Nothing, except you uh, were once poor and uh, now you're rich. Once poor and now rich. Hmm. How very true. Indeed, that should explain everything. Those who are born rich take their wealth for granted. That is something I never do. It enables me to buy what I want. And when it is spurned, as it is occasionally by the proud, the ignorant, or the stupid, I do not worry over much. But when I am spurned as a man, especially by someone like you, I am offended. I, I'm sorry. You will be, my dear. Because I am not a nice man to cross. Unforgetting and unforgiving. <laughs> <laughs> Look out through the portal. No, 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 to the other side. And tell me what you see. Uh, a big motor sailor, about a mile or so off. That is the Lotus, registered in Istanbul. One of the most luxurious yachts afloat. He belongs to a friend of mine. Jamil uh, Bey? <laughs> ah, do you have heard of Jamil Bey? Yeah. All I know is, is that he is rich and a, and a Turk. Only half Turk, or more likely, rather less than half. Even as I am only half Greek. 
While he grew up in Alexandria, I learned to keep myself alive in Khartoum. Why? Why are you telling me this? Because outwardly, Jamil Bey and I are friends. We are the same sort of people. I have to keep in with him. He has to keep in with me. And now it is my turn to show my gratitude. Your turn to show your... your gratitude? By presenting him with some acceptable gift. Or something... Beautiful, though beauty, I fear, in the hands of Jamil Bey, it does not last. What, what, what are you going to do? Isn't it obvious? I have no further use for you. But Jamil Bey is a collector. I would not go so far as to say that he was a connoisseur, but uh, yes, a collector of young and desirable women. Thank you again, Mr. Aristophanes. You're more than welcome, Jamil Bay. somebody, perhaps. Mr. Aristophades is expecting me. Ah, uh, Mr. Meadows. Oh, that's right. I am the skipper, Mr. Meadows. The one who calls me Nick. Oh, boy. How do you do, Nick? And Mr. Aristophades is in his stateroom. Come with me. Good health, Mr. Meadows. And yours, sir. I will call you Timothy. You are uh, quite happy about our little contract? Well, it seems perfectly straightforward, but um, I must warn you that I've never attempted anything quite like this before. But you are a very good writer. That is why I selected you to write my biography. Above all... I wanted the right man. Well, I hope I'm the man you want. I must say, sir, your terms are very generous. Mm. I pay my tailor well, too. The cut of the jacket serves to hide this, uh, this bulge. <laughs> <laughs> well, the pattern of the material plus the design of the suit tends to make me look taller than I am. In other words, Timothy, the clothes my tailor makes are flattering to my figure. Um, yes, I understand, Mr. Aristophanes. One does not amass great wealth, especially along the shores of the Mediterranean, by handling everything and everybody with kid gloves. The business world nowadays is a battlefield, and all is fair, they say, in love and war. On occasions, I have to confess, I have been utterly ruthless. Well, I'll see to how to handle those occasions when the time comes. I want a frank and revealing biography, Timothy. But not too frank and not too revealing. Uh, I see. <laughs> After all, I am not like your Oliver Cromwell. I do not care for a warts and all type of portrait. At the same time, I shall not insult your professional honor by asking you to whitewash me. Well, that seems fair enough. Basically, all you have to remember is that the biography is intended to improve my public image. What it means is that you have to couple your skills as a novelist to those of a public relations officer. I'll do my best. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> and to help you, I've taken on someone to type your notes as we go along. A very interesting girl. A South African, but of Greek descent. She was teaching English in Athens. Marika? Yes, Mr. Aristophanes. Just one moment, please. Oh, hello. Oh, um, hello. Uh, Timothy, this is the secretary I was telling you about. Marika Mahakis. Marika, Timothy Matos. How do you do, Marika? I, I wasn't expecting the secretary, I must say. <laughs> I've been so looking forward to meeting you. You see, I read Meadow Sweet, oh. the story of your family's farm in Hertfordshire, mm. when I was at university. It nearly broke my heart when you had to sell it to pay off death duties. Uh, well, the realities of life, Marika. Uh, well, I'm having lunch, sure. If you will excuse me, 
I leave you to get to know one another. Come in. Uh, come on, deck, Marika. There's a full moon and we're on the outskirts of the Sparides. special interest in the Sparadis. My grandfather came from Kos. Oh. He died before I was born. And will be there in the morning. Have you any relatives still living on the island? I'm not sure, but it'll be interesting to find out. Are you enjoying the trip? Oh, loving it, aren't you? I keep thinking of Meadow Sweet. I on earth? Our old farm. Not of the farm, but of the man who wrote it. The man who could write with such sensitivity and truth. What exactly are you getting at, Monica? The stuff you're writing now. What about it? Lies! That's not Aristophanes emerging. It's some phony knight in silver paper armor. Are you implying that, that he's I'm... bought you? That you're writing to order, suppressing the truth, faking the result? Yes, I'm implying all those things. Have you got a damn cheek? The truth hurts. The secretary's job is to type what she is told to type, not to offer a running commentary on the contents. If you'll excuse me. The woman, sir, looking for her granddaughter. Says she was a cook on this yacht. A cook? But we never had a woman cook. What was her name? Irina, the old woman says. Irina Konstantinos. Oh, strange. <laughs> oh, these island girls go after the mainland, Timothy. They're they living on the streets. Yes. Write to the people back home saying they're working on such and such a well-known yacht. Oh. Mm, harmless deceit, I suppose. But it, it can be embarrassing. Yes, of course. And uh, the old woman, the Koishi. People here call her Mitera, sir. Not quite right in the head. Lives up there on the hill. Keeps a few goats, grows a few herbs. People are frightened of her. They say she is a witch. One of the world's great tastes is superbly matured brandy. And this is what you will enjoy in every glass of Viceroy Old Liqueur Brandy. Aged and mellowed to perfection for people with the time to enjoy it, savor it, linger over it. Viceroy, the brandy of matchless maturity. Viceroy. Realize, John, we go overseas in less than a week. So? Last time you were in a flap for at least a month before. But this time we're going on an SAA package deal. They've done all the work. Itineraries, bookings, tickets. All you've had to do is send off the check. That's right. If you want to be a pampered passenger on a package holiday, SAA has 500 tours on five continents to tempt you. Inclusive tours covering your airfare, luxury coach, hotels, river cruises, and much more. The choice is yours. The hassles are ours. SAA didn't invent holidays. We just perfected them. Telefunken's terrific. First they invented PAL, and now they've come up with the truly portable, portable TV set. What makes Telefunken's portable so portable is that everything's built in. It's got a built-in battery, built-in recharger, built-in sunscreen, aerial and handle. 
It's compact and got no loose wires. So it's no hassle to get the picture as perfectly as the station sends it, up here on a mountain or anywhere else. Because Telefunken's the truly portable portable. After what you had to say last night, I half expected to find you packing. Come in and close the door, Tim. Now, what? I was going to walk out on all of you this morning, but now I'm not quite sure what to do. Tim, I'm disappointed in you, but my intuition tells me you're the only man I can trust. You heard the fuss that that old woman made this morning. About her missing granddaughter, yes. Come into the bathroom. Oh, you're being very mysterious. You have to lie down in the bath. It's the only way you can see it. Lie in the oh, bath? Please, Are Tim, you talk- it's important. Uh, uh. Now, look under the overhanging lip of the soap dish. Someone's written their name. Irene... Constantinos. The missing granddaughter. The oh. girl both Aristophides and the skipper denied all knowledge of. She was here, living in this cabin, bathing in this bath, and she disappeared. Yet no one said a word, not even the crew. Oof. There must be some rational explanation. What could be more rational than the obvious? Her name establishes that she was here, yet all trace of her presence aboard has been destroyed. Even the skipper and crew deny all knowledge of her. Obviously on Aristophades' instructions. Yet she succeeded in leaving this one clue, hidden from all but... the next victim, shall we say? What? Well, Marika, you're not suggesting that, I that this... I might disappear too. I wouldn't put it past Aristophades if I offended him. But I'm not worrying about myself at the moment. I'm worrying about poor Irene Constantinos. That must be where Mitera lives. Oh. Half cave, half cottage built into the hillside. Yeah, well, the skipper indicated that she was half crazy. That was for our benefit. But the islanders call her Mitera, which means mother. And they hold her in considerable respect. Oh. Stranger! Oh. What are you doing here? Go away! Leave me in peace! Oh, I am no stranger, Mitera, but the granddaughter of Dmitri Mahakis. Once a fisherman on this island. Marcus, I, I think I remember him. Come to me, daughter. But the man with you, he does not belong here. Let him wait. Oh, wait here, Tim. like one of our island girls, daughter. And you speak our language of an accent that is strange. I grew up in South Africa, Mitera. Yet you came here in the motor ship Nautos, named after the south wind, and you stood to one side, saying nothing while the man in charge lied to me oh, about Irene. Only because I had never heard of Irene Constantinos having joined the ship at Piraeus only a week ago. But now you have news of my granddaughter. Uh, of a sort, Mitera. Confirmation that she was indeed aboard the Nautos. Whatever the skipper might have told you. I found her name written beneath a ledge in the bathroom adjoining my cabin. There is evil aboard that ship. I sensed it, even from the dock. The owner, Aristophades, is evil. A rich and ruthless man whose greed will be his undoing. For we carry the seeds of our own destruction within us all. What do you think has happened to Irene? She has been held, my daughter, against her will. In my dreams, she tries to come to me. Her soul, fluttering blindly in the night, oh. like the wings of a bear beating against the cage. Oh, shall I go to the police? You will find they are in the pay of Aristophanes. But there must be something we can do. The confirmation you gave me is what I'm waiting for. 
You will not understand, but you are a messenger sent to me by the old ones who live on these islands of the Aegean Sea. What old ones, Metera? The guardians of our ancient Greece. Zeus himself, lord of the heavens. The tablet clouds make up his shield, and when he shakes it, there is thunder and lightning. You believe still in the old gods, Metera? And in their power, their power to do good or evil. But you can't still... I do not expect you to understand, daughter. What is myth? What is history? Ellen bridged the gap. She was mortal, born of the mortal Lita. But her father was Zeus. Her blood runs in my veins, and with it, the blood of the gods. I see them all. Theseus, whose father, our beloved Aegeus, gave his name to our Aegean Sea, the Minotaur of Crete. Perseus, who turned his enemies into stone by showing them the severed Gorgon's head. <laughs> I'd say is to keep our mouths shut until we get back to Athens. Then we can go to the police. I'll go. Rather you keep out of it. Otherwise it'll cost you your job. Damn the job. What's that you got there? Oh, it's a little present from Matera. Well, let me have a look. Hmm, interesting. A little stone snake. Oh, well, I see his tail's broken off. Oh, is it? I hadn't noticed. Oh, dear. I wonder if that's going to spoil things. What are you talking about? Matera told me that I was to show it to Aristophides. I was to say that I'd bought it in the village for the equivalent of a dollar. Uh, what then? She didn't say. Disappointed in you. But my intuition tells me you're the only man I can trust. You heard the fuss that that old woman made this morning. About her missing granddaughter, yes. Come into the bathroom. Oh. You're being very mysterious. You have to lie down in the bath. It's the only way you can see it. While you were ashore, I climbed into that bath and found what you, my so-called trustworthy skipper, had missed. Erini Constantinos had written her name beneath the overhanging lip of the soap dish, and both the girl and Meadows now knew that she was here. I, I'm sorry, Mr. Aristophanes, but, but how was I to know? I don't pay you to make mistakes. Where were they going, did they say? The girl was going to try and trace some of her relations. Find out from the police if they reported there. If they didn't, they'll be saving that little tidbit of information until they get back to Athens. It looks as if we might have another present for Jamil Bay. And uh, Mr. Meadows, sir? I think it can be arranged for him to break his neck. Oh, just in time for the sundown. Ah. Have you had a good day? Oh, oh, wonderful, Mr. Aristophanes. Uh, look what I bought for myself. Oh, a serpent. A petrified serpent. Carved out of stone. <laughs> but he's broken. I suppose that's why I got it so cheap. Ah, I collect these things. I'll give you ten dollars. Oh, no, really. Keep it if you want it. Oh, thank you, Marika. You are very kind. That yacht there. She's very close. Oh, unless she changes course, she's going to cut right across our bows. Oh, beauty, isn't she? What's her name? Can you see it through your night glasses? Uh, let me see. Oh, she's the Lotus. Port of registration, Istanbul. Lotus? Timothy, this is it. This is what happened to Arena. I'm sure it is. Mm. Nitera told me that the, a lotus emblem was constantly haunting her dreams. You didn't say anything? I didn't say anything. It is now. I want you to go down to your cabin and lock yourself in. The doors and bolts are pretty solid. But what are you going to do? I'm going to call on Aristophanes. I know where he keeps his gun. Here, Nick, and this gun is my authority. Gun? Aristophanes is dead. He is dead? 
He told me an hour ago he was not feeling well. A heart attack, possibly. Now, if you know what's good for you, you'll ignore the Lotus and make full speed for Piraeus. <laughs> spoken to Aristophanes, personal physician. Only a month ago, he was given a clean bill of health. Yet the post-mortem revealed an intense accumulation of calcium in the mm. tissues associated with chronic arteriosclerosis. As if he were turning into stone? Something like that. Neteira was here. She came to collect Irene. And when she left, she took away the petrified serpent. Oh. She was muttering something about the old gods and Medusa with the serpent locks who could turn mere mortals into stone. Ascend. Rise above the clouds with a cool, clean mainstay on the rocks topped up with Schweppes sparkling lemon or discover the number one spirit with tonic tomato cocktail or any other mixer it's a soaring experience you can stay as you are for the rest of your life or you can change to mainstay Quality, care, and craftsmanship. These have made Rembrandt Van Rijn the masterpiece in cigarettes. Nothing else could achieve that perfect balance of flavor, aroma, and smoothness. Rembrandt Van Rijn. Each cigarette a masterpiece. Inflation is reducing the value of your rent, including the rent you set aside for life assurance. Now, from Southern Life, the Inflation Fighter, the new policy especially designed to counter inflation. As the cost of living goes up, the value of your Inflation Fighter policy increases. Find out more about Southern's Inflation Fighter. Consult your broker or Southern Life representative. Listen again at the same time next week when we shall bring you another comedy, drama, or play of suspense in Tuesday Theatre.